All right, I got this new, I got this new camera here. Probably the closest thing I've got to a, uh, geez, probably yeah, probably the closest thing I've got to a dash cam. It's never, it's not going to be in this spot again. Uh, it's probably going to be in, in like the bottom left or top left, something like that, because the big camera goes in the middle. But uh, but yes, this is a new camera. I'm going to test this out right here. We're at Micro Center. I just I actually just bought like two uh, micro SD cards because that's what this joint takes. Put that in, and we're recording right now. So yeah, I had a, I needed to make sure I got the fuck out of it. Fuck out of this store as much as I love Micro Center. As much as I love this store. Jesus Christ. As much as I love it, I need to get the fuck out of here before I spend any more money. I mean, I already spent good and good amount already. Don't need any more. Yeah, so, I mean, this is the third camera, third camera in my arsenal. I've got the, I've got that JVC, I've got that JVC action camera, the Addiction, and then there's that Canon, the big camera, the Canon Vixia camcorder. Jesus Christ. Um, and then we've got this GitHub Git2 Pro Pack. Okay, so it's the, the camera itself is Git2. But I just wanted I, I, I just wanted another camera in the arsenal. Because, well, the screen on the JVC doesn't it doesn't shut off. Like you can't like you cannot shut it off, period. This one, this one does shut off. Um, I mean, you, you can disable it, and you can, or you can change how uh, you can change the timeout. But at least this one shuts off, so the battery lasts, uh, or it can last quite a bit longer than, than the JVC. I think the JVC I only got like maybe an hour and a half continuous uh, before it died. This one, according to Tech Mode's review, Tech Mode's another YouTuber, according to Tech Mode's review. He got like two hours and 45 minutes out of this with the screen shut off and with this setting. So. Oh, I didn't know there was a, there was like another uh, knob there for volume. I'm already, I'm already on the lowest for this on the Honda system, but like apparently if you go one notch lower, there's another setting which I was at earlier. Right now, I'm going to head home and uh, drop some of the shit off. Drop, well, drop all the shit I got from Micro Center off. There was a, uh, not only did I get SD cards, I also got a some Raspberry Pi stuff and and a Beagle Bone. It's for an upcoming, well, not really upcoming. It's a current project that I'm doing with another another person that probably has some money involved. First of all, first of all, I need to not crash into people. But second of all, I do need to, I mean, I got, so BeagleBone is a different board I've never played around with yet. I've played around too many Pies and too many Arduinos, but never in my life have I played around with the BeagleBone or Beagle board yet. So I do need to get myself familiar with that before I do anything else with it, like put a screen on it. The Raspberry Pi is nice, but unfortunately, it's got Broadcom all written all over it. And uh, if you haven't if you haven't cursed out Broadcom at least once in your life, well, you're not you're not a real Linux user, unfortunately. I don't know I don't know why the Raspberry Pi Foundation decided to go with Broadcom, but it is how it is. Could have made a lot of people's lives a little bit a little bit easier and. Uh, Especially when doing weird shit. But it is how it is. So my 
might be a bad idea. There's someone wants to turn here, but... Like I said, this uh, this this new camera, this new camera is probably the closest thing I'll ever get to a real dash cam. It does have it does have function or, or a uh, setting to act as a dash cam, like auto. Uh, it's got auto motion sensing and and other shit that I can't remember. Refer back to tech modes review of this of this camera. It's a good idea if you're on if you're on like a on a road like this where you don't have a we don't have a center lane, but it's but it's a four lane road. Just stay in the right lane. One, unless you're turning left or something. Or see what I was doing, like trying to go go around somebody who was making a right turn. But otherwise, see like see now there's a there's a left turn lane at this intersection, but normally it's just it's just four lanes without a without a center turn. 
just stay in the right lane. Because you, you never know when uh, when someone has to stop in the middle of the left lane to wait for oncoming traffic to clear. I'm, pl I'm blasting my grime uh, in, in the background here. I just want to, I'm also testing out not only the video, especially in this low light condition that I've got here because we're driving at night. But also, but also, also just trying to see how how the audio is, even though even it, it, even though it's an action camera, no hold. It, it, it's an action camera. The, the, the sound's going to be kind of shitty. But I just kind of wa I wanted to see how shitty it is, <laughs> how shitty the default uh, microphone is. You know, part you know part of the reason why I even bought this uh bought this camera was was that it does have external microphone capability. Canon has that too, albeit with with the uh, with the 3.5 millimeter jack. This one you have to go through and uh, go through a mini USB adapter, just like the GoPros. Even though I'm diametrically opposed to buying any GoPros, um, I'm kind of referring to this camera as a GoPro-like object, or an object resembling a GoPro. I mean, it even has uh, like hit like the form factor looks like a GoPro. The the included mounts are basically GoPro mounts. But I mean, my my first choice my first choice of uh, a new camera was a Contour was a Contour Roam three, but it didn't do it didn't exactly do 1080p 60. I don't think. Actually, no, the Contour Plus 2 doesn't do 1080p60. That's what it was. That camera doesn't do 1080p60. It does 1080p30, but 30 frames per second. It's 2017, people. So the so for as for immediate availability, for reference, I got the I bought I ordered the camera yesterday. I ordered this uh, the, the the Get Two yesterday, arrived today because it's B and H. They're up in Manhattan, and this is Philly. But as for as for immediate availability. It was only the Contour Plus 2 that was available, and not the Rome 3. And the Rome 3 was really what I wanted. If it was available. I was looking, I, I looked at other, other authorized retailers of Contour, and they didn't seem to have it in stock. Not even, uh... I forget what Contour's website had, but like, I certainly wouldn't have been uh, getting it today unless I paid up for shipping. Cause when I do the stuff, there won't be a witness. Mind your business, 